What's up guys? We are back with another Super 7 Masters of the Universe Club Grace Gold figure. We're taking a look at, well, one of the remaining heavy hitters in this wave because five of the six are. We're taking a look at Stratos today. This guy, of course, comes in the standard packaging with the slipcover on it, so you've got the jaw bridge there and all that filmation artwork goodness. The He-Man logo in the star field on the back. And of course, pop this thing off. You've got the figure there in the big window with all the windows on the top and then on the sides. And then on the back, you've got a shot of Stratos in some filmation style artwork as well as a bit of a bio. So let's do it. Let's pull it out and take a look. And here he is out of the packaging, our Filmation Stratos figure. So this one is kind of interesting because, well, he comes with accessories finally. So that's something that has always been a big gripe for me when it comes to Stratos stuff is that he never comes with anything. And even in the classics, when they shoehorned some accessories in, he was never really meant to hold on to them. So they worked, but they sort of didn't. So this guy is a little bit different. And they gave us some interesting stuff in this package. So let's take a look and see how he moves around. He is pretty standard as far as this line goes because he's basically just a normal male figure so you've got a head that can rotate and that's pretty much it he has no real movement outside of that that's the big difference here arms go out at the shoulder they rotate you've got your bicep swivel single jointed elbows rotation and hinges at those wrists you've got a crunch he goes forward he goes backwards you've got a waist twist Legs go all the way out, so do some splits if you need to. They kick forward, but you're gonna have to rotate them to get them to go all the way because of how they just sort of hit everything. You can kick backwards, you've got your thigh cuts, you've got single jointed knees. He has a boot cut, and then he's also got the rocker, and he's got hinges down at the ankles. So he is pretty standard, nothing too crazy on him. The only thing that's really lacking on this particular figure is head tilt, and sort of head bobble, really. He can't do a whole lot outside of just rotate. As far as aesthetics go on this guy, he is always well, kind of standard, but there is definitely some different stuff going on here because, well, he's got new parts because he has sculpted on harnesses and then he's got sculpted on bands on those biceps. For the most part, though, the figure is, well, he's pretty standard. You've got gray legs, blue loincloth, red belt, red boots. You do have the the feathers that clasp onto the wrist, so they're part of his uh, the bangles that are on his wrist. Pretty simple, not a whole lot of detail, but again, it's the filmation line, so that's normal, that's what it's supposed to be. And they look good, they very much give you that cartoony vibe with just their general size and the overall design, and then what little bit of sculpted detail is in there. His biceps have the sculpted on armbands, and they are just red like everything else. You've got a new torso on this guy, as best I can tell, because nobody else in the filmation line has this kind of harness. The pecs are a little different, the striations on the muscle are a little bit different as well, so it looks similar but at the same time a little bit different from other figures and then paint on this is pretty crisp and clean nothing too crazy there and then the back of the figure has got a port for a jetpack so stratos of course so he's got a jetpack and there are multiple jetpacks in this particular figure and you just pop one in that hole there and you've got yourself a jetpacked up uh, winged monkey kind of man there and i think for the most part he looks pretty good again pretty standard nothing too crazy as far as overall design goes when you look at it it's pretty much yeah that's stratos I think they got him down pretty good. He doesn't have a great deal of paint on him, but he has it where he needs it. And as far as the overall body is concerned, I think they did a pretty solid job here. The head sculpt, though, is where I kind of get lost a little bit on this figure because while they translated it really well into figure form, into plastic, I've never really liked this design for Stratos. I always thought it was kind of weird. He always just looked really goofy to me in the cartoon. He's not hes not among my favorite of the heroic masters, so I don't have a lot of attachment to Stratos. And they did a pretty good job here, although I do have a little bit of a paint flub on mine. There's a little bit of gray peeking through the flesh tone on his mouth, but it's not too, it's not too obvious, so I, I can kind of overlook that. The rest of it is pretty nicely done though. It's all done up in that matte finish so you've got the gray beard and the flesh toned mouth which has kind of that simian look to it and then you've got the really big glasses goggles and then of course the red skull cap on there so he looks he looks the part don't get me wrong but I think it's still kind of weird in person. It definitely is an odd shape odd design and he's just a goopy looking dude but Super 7 and the Horseman did do a solid job translating this into plastic. Now where things really get changed up for this figure, well, in comparison to the other classics Stratos, Strati, Stratosi figures, we've got accessories. That's a thing. He's actually got accessories. So the original Stratos and, say, the Stratos that had the color inversions in the DC Comics 2-pack, they didn't have accessories. They have style pose kind of flying hands and no gripping hands. But they did get weapons later on. So 
Icer and what Goatman, if I remember correctly, they both came with staves of Avion, different versions of it. But the Stratos figures never could really hold it all that well. They were just sort of shoehorned in. This guy has the ability to hold weapons, so they gave him some stuff this time around. We, of course, do have the aforementioned jetpacks, though. So this is the one that I showed you previously, and it's kind of like the standard, very basic, lower detail, just filmation-esque a jetpack here, and then we've also got this guy, and I don't recall if he changed jetpacks in the show or anything, but this is more in line with the Classics figure, which of course is more in line with the Vintage figure, because of these fins on the outside and then the uh, kind of boosters at the top. So you've got a couple options, however you want to display this guy, they just pop out, go back in, just fine, no issues, no muss, no fuss, anything like that. So, beyond that, we've got the weaponry. So he comes with the Staff of Avion, and this is just done up in the most incredibly bright yellow color plastic. No paint on it. It's pretty similar to what we got in the Classics line, but of course, different enough. Very basic, just yellow with a little bit of a skull there, and then of course the design up there for the actual bladed edge. And then we've got this thing. So this is labeled as the Sword of Inail is what it is. I'm not sure if that's ever mentioned in the show, and he is seen using swords, but it's pretty rare. So I'm not really sure what the idea is behind this, and supposedly this may have been named after a member of the fan community, uh, uh, someone named Leanne, and that's in nail backwards and vice versa, so there might be some credence to that. I'm not really sure. This is just Tila's sword from the Filmation line. Painted red, though. Well, done up in red plastic. It's not even painted. So this doesn't actually look like the swords that I think he uses in the show, but it is kind of a nod to that. And then, of course, it seems to be a nod to a fan, which is pretty cool. I like the idea behind that. So you've got the two jetpacks, and you've got the staff, and you've got the sword. So for the first time in, you know, forever, Stratos comes with a nice smattering of accessories. Now, I would be remiss if I did not do a comparison between our Club Grayskull figure and the Classics figure. So we've got the two closest representations of Stratos in Classics to this guy here. So we've got our filmation in the middle, and then we've got our gray Stratos here on either side with the color palette swap as far as their armor and the feathers go. So you can see that they are stylistically quite different, but the general idea is there. You can see where this all kind of blends together. And then here are the aforementioned staffs that I was talking about. So this is the more mini comics version over here that has the little grip on it so he can hold it. And then this one here is the more filmation style version that of course still looks wildly different to the one he actually comes with now, but you can see the similarities. It's just very, very different much more detailed to fit in with classics. So there you go, we've got our quick comparison to give you an idea of what they look like stacked up to one another. Of course, there is the fourth one, the one that is the naked Stratos in the PowerCon 3-pack, but he is so wildly different, it's not really worth comparing because he is an entirely different color. So overall, this is a pretty solid figure. My interest in Stratos doesn't really matter in that regard. I don't really care about him as a character, and he's the big one that I never really cared about, I suppose, and I still really don't. But I think that they did a pretty solid job here. I do think his head is kind of weird, but that's just the design. It just looks weird in person. Otherwise, though, this is a really solid interpretation of Stratos in plastic from the Filmation cartoon, and I'm really happy that they gave us accessories. I know that's stupid to say because, you know, it's an action figure and he should come with accessories, but you know, time after time, he never really did. So this is really cool to get this kind of stuff. So to have that sword, to have that staff, to have swappable jetpacks, if you really need to make that choice, it's just nice to have the options. And I'm glad Super 7 was able to give that to us. So yeah, that's going to do it for this look at the Super 7 Masters of the Universe Club Grayskull Stratos. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time.